Let's talk about Rhode Island drivers and how they don't know how to drive. Today, I'm coming home from work. I'm going on the Route 610 connector. Big orange signs that say the right lane is closed. Big fucking DOT signs, flashing arrows. And what do you think the people are doing? Staying in the right lane, going all the way to the fucking signs and trucks, and then try to cut over. So here I am. I'm coming up the road. I'm staying in the left lane because that's the open lane. There's a guy, I don't know what the fuck he was driving, some kind of little Toyota Prius maybe. Maybe not. He's trying to get in. So I'm going. I'm like, I'm not letting you in. I'm almost there. The fucking guy cuts to come in front of me, rolls his window down, and flips me off. That wasn't the bad part. The bad part was he was wearing a SpongeBob mask in his car by himself. I got punked off by SpongeBob trying to merge traffic. That's how fucked up Rhode Island drivers are. Number one, you see the sign. Number two, you got a mask on by yourself in the car. What the fuck is in there that's going to give you COVID-19 and SpongeBob to boot? But that's typical of the pussified. I use pussified. My friend Billy gave me that word to use. I kind of like it. That's how our pussified society has been. I'm assuming somebody who believes they're entitled and they need to get what they want when they want, such as cut in front of me to get in the right fucking lane. I'm pretty sure he would have been offended if I flipped him off back or, but you know what? I can't, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with that bullshit. People got nothing fucking better to do. If you want to wear a mask, go ahead, wear the fucking mask. But in your car by yourself, I just don't, I don't understand it. These are the people who shouldn't leave their house at all. Stay the fuck home until this thing is never seen again. It's gone. Nobody's got it. Nobody's sick. Nobody's dying. If you're going to wear a mask in your car by yourself, do us all a favor. Stay the fuck home. Don't go out. And this, that little rant brings me to this COVID pandemic that we have. In Rhode Island, we've seen a huge increase in cases, which is alarming, I'll admit. And our governor, our lame duck governor, because she can't run for re-election, she's term limited, has once again put in restrictions on what we can and can't do, which I disagree with. I understand why she wants to do this, and I get it, but enough is enough. For six months, businesses were closed, people were out of work, some people were getting free money from the government, God bless them. I wasn't. I had to work every day through this thing, every fucking day. Didn't complain, went did our job, came home. But the latest is a curfew. She's telling Rhode Islanders curfew is in effect from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And I think it's 10.30 on weekends or something like that. Businesses, establishments, restaurants, bars have to close at 10, have to stop serving food, booze, whatever. Haven't these people been hurt enough? How many businesses, I don't know, have gone under because of the six-month lockdown? Shouldn't it be up to the person, the individual person, to say, hey, you know what, I know I'm risking it, but I want to go out. I don't want to stay home all the time. I want to be able to go out at 9 o'clock for dinner and not have to rush because the governor said we have to be home after 10 o'clock or who the fuck knows what's going to happen. 
This is just another way to the government to take away your liberties and your rights to do what you want to do. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not committing crimes. Okay? You're out. You're socializing. You're having some fun. Then you go home. But if you go out and you stay till 10 o'clock and you leave, she also said you can't bring anybody home with you if you're out with some people. You can't have any friends over your house either. No, nope, you go home, they go home. That's it. See you later. And if you do have someone at your house, everyone has to wear masks in the house. I mean, come on. That's like the SpongeBob driving the fucking car with the mask on. You're in your house. Okay, you know the people you're with. Why should you wear a mask in your house? I don't know. I'm just uh, <clears throat> at a loss with this thing. It's getting so aggravating. I talk to people during the day. I talked to someone today who has a vacation planned that they may not be able to go on. Although where they're going is open for uh, tourists. But due to all this uptick in cases, they're worried, they're nervous about going. And my opinion was don't go, but it's all booked. You paid the money, you can't get the money back. So what do you do? Something's gotta give. This has to come to an end sooner or later. Hopefully this wonder vaccine they've been talking about will do something, quite frankly. I'm not getting no fucking vaccine. I don't trust it. It was done too soon. Who the hell knows what's in this thing and what's it going to do to you? Are you going to get it? Two weeks later, your fingers are going to swell up. Your fucking toenails are going to fall off. Who the fuck knows what's going to happen? I'm just going to wait it out and see what happens. I won't wear my mask alone in my car. I'll wear it at work. I will still go out. And I'll have to come home after 10 when I do go out because what am I going to do? Sit in the fucking parking lot? Somebody's got to have answers to this. And I certainly know that it's not the government. Because if anybody believes a word they say, then I think you need to go talk to someone too because they're lying. They're fucking lying. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to believe anymore. But you cannot believe anything comes out of a politician's mouth. We don't know who the president's going to be, Biden, Trump, Kamala, Kamala, whatever the fuck her name is, Harris. She's the vice president now, but you know damn well she's going to be the president sooner or later. But they're not going to fix it. They're going to put more restrictions in place. Whoever Biden is choosing for some COVID guru is already suggesting, suggesting a four to six week nationwide lockdown to stem the tide of increased cases, four to six weeks. Nationwide lockdown, I said it, nationwide lockdown. What is that? That is a fucking dictatorship telling you what you can and can't do. We're gonna pay you a little bit of money. You're gonna stay home and do what we say. People are going to lose everything. Homes, cars, businesses. This has to fucking stop. So with that said, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. If you know some friends, have them listen to it and subscribe. <clears throat> Excuse me, there'll be plenty more where this came from. And that's it for today. Have a good weekend and wear your mask. Don't wear it alone in your car, but wear it. And please don't wear Spongebob. Wear Superman, Batman, something. Spongebob? Come on. I, I can't with the Spongebob. Anyways, we'll talk soon. This is No Limits. My name is Chris. Have a great weekend.